Hello everyone, this is Nana and I'm Igazi and, and welcome, welcome back, back to our channel. channel. So today we're going to talk about something that's very important in these times. We all know what's going on right now, what's going around. We know about the virus and there's so many things, so much news, so many things to be worried about. People are worried about food shortages, people are not going to work, children are at home, unemployment is rising. So amongst all of that, it's very easy to get overwhelmed. But we want to talk today a little about cabin fever. So, and Gus has already started experiencing this since this past weekend. Yes. So, like, it's uh, it's a real thing. So, yeah. according to Webster Marion um, Dictionary, cabin fever is extreme irritability and restlessness from living in isolation or a confined indoor area for a prolonged time. So like Nana said, I started experiencing this weekend amongst a lot of things going on. I was at my cousin's um, apartment in Virginia with her sister and I just started feeling very, like I just, we were in, we didn't go, we literally couldn't even go to church. We were in there the whole like, three, four days. We were just in the house. We, but you're all leaving like twice, three yes, times a day. We, we made conscious efforts just to walk out and take a walk because we started feeling very irritable. I started feeling very like claustrophobic, mm -hmm. started feeling very antsy, started feeling kind of anxious. And I felt like I was going crazy. Like, is something wrong with me? Is anyone else experiencing this? And there actually is a word for cabin fever. So a lot of people are feeling this right now. As you know, kids are home, parents are home from work. Our daily life, our routine has been disrupt disrupted. So we always pray for that day where we can just stay in all day and sleep in. But when it's one week and you're doing that, when it's multiple weeks and you're doing that, it could be very problematic. So we have a few tips for everyone on how to deal with cabin fever. So I would say number one, number one would be to make sure you get some daylight every day. So that could be anything as simple as if you live in a house, everyone's afraid of, you know, going out, affecting others. You may have a backyard. Mm -hmm. So you could just walk out to your backyard, actually be in nature, see the sun. You know, you're pretty secluded. It's not like you're going to like a public area okay. and just walk around a little. That would be my, I've seen a lot of people taking walks now more than ever. And it's still a little chilly up here, but it's definitely helpful just to go out and see nature and just see like, be what be in nature i think is very helpful okay so that's number two i would say definitely i think that what i'm realizing with being at home more is that i have to make an effort to deep to what is the word i'm looking at De detach myself from news mm -hmm. and social media so like i would say like two hours or three hours of the day like no phone like no even if you're on no social or not, not even no phone because it seems like most of my conversations this is what people are talking about so i would say no phone no tv like just like read a book mm -hmm. or take a nap or maybe clean a clock clean a clean um uh, your room cook or, a meal yeah cook a meal like really take a few hours each day to stay away from technology because it's all over and i think that is a part of the anxiety because people are not really sure of the future just mm -hmm. you know it's a serious thing going on right now so the more you keep hearing about it and every second they're interrupting shows with breaking news mm -hmm. it can get very very overwhelming it's very overwhelming That's so so unplug I would unplug say unplug from uh, social media electronics even tv it's tv yeah, and the third one i think is really important would be to just reach out to loved ones during all when all this now that all this is going on we don't really have an excuse anymore. Mm -hmm. When it's a normal week, you could say, oh, I I'm work busy. 40 hours, I'm busy, yeah, I'm My cousin, school. I haven't seen it. I have to study, I have to work. We can't give those excuses now because most people are at home. Children are not in school. So like today, early today, I re reached out to my little cousins and uh, my brother was on the phone like for hours with our cousins. So just giving that example, like, text they wouldn't be able to do this on a normal day because they would both be in school and by the time they go to school they're in sports and they're doing homework mm -hmm. so now that the the benefit few benefits from what's going on right now because it is a serious and very bad thing that's going on but is that people have more time now so you have to really be intentional you don't need to be close to them like you don't need to visit them or go to their house mm -hmm. it's technology you know what i mean so like nowadays facetime yep. you know what i mean what's that video call Call you know? people, reach out to That's people I, I me i'm not a phone person at all but i'm just between yesterday i've spoken to like so many people on the phone and it's really because i have i'm on my spring break but also i got another week to my spring break and i know that everyone else is available as well so usually even if i'm off and i know people are not off it's not really as helpful but it's no excuse now you can't be too busy you can't be too this too that this is a perfect time to reach out to loved ones mm. and start conversation. And I would say number four would be to really 
practice social distancing, you know? So it's related to me, it's related to cabin fever because cabin fever, we're anxious about being in home. But also remember why you need to stay at home. Remember why it's important for us to stay at home because we don't really know what's going on. You know what I mean? It's better safe than sorry. So before you start going out, I feel like, at least for me, I'm starting to really think like, instead of maybe I used to go grocery shopping once a week, try to go once every two weeks. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Try to group your activity, like try to group your errands into like, like right now is not the time to just go out because you, cause you're bored. If like she, because he said like, if you're bored, you, you, you want to see some sunlight, like go in your backyard, maybe take a walk. I hear about them saying in New York, the parks are free for kids. Me personally, I wouldn't go to the park. Yeah, I don't think a park I wouldn't go idea. to those, those places. It's like it's going to be too crowded with so many people. Like that's just not what I would do right now as, as a, as a health professional, just as a human being, I don't think it's a wise. I would say just try to, you know, get out there once in a while for necessary things, but just coordinate it so that you're not running out every day unless you like your essential personality. You have to go to work. If you're not a central personnel, you can walk down the street. You can go yeah. in your backyard. That's fine. It's like even just for a few minutes just to be out there and get some fresh air. Number five, the last one, I would say this is super important, at least for me, is despite it all, I think a good, a very, very good an antidote or what do I say? cure solution solution to cabin fever is to exercise i know it may sound extreme i know gyms are closed I, my gym is closed but i know me i i think part of the reason why i started feeling anxious and i can't sit still is because i'm not active mm -hmm. i'm just sitting around doing nothing on a normal day i'm not saying i go to the gym every day but at least like every other day i'm active you're walking around at work you're working around at school but if you're physically at home it's very easy to be at home and just be sitting down the whole time because you don't have a reason to move around. So this is when it's so important. I know home exercises are gonna get so big now. Mm -hmm. I have my mat, I have two dumbbells I've had for years. I never really used yesterday and today I worked out. I've always done like, only thing I've really ever done, but you do yoga. Like, but like, I don't do it. But now it's like, like, I don't have a choice. Things. Like I, this, I, today I was, I was running up and down my steps like a crazy person creaking, like up and down, shaking. the house was shaking, up and down, running up and down, running up and down. <laughs> like you will be surprised. Like the house has a lot of ways to work out in the house. Like, it would shock you because me, I'm such, like, a gym person. Like, I never really work out at home. Like, I always feel like I have to go to the gym me to work too. out. But the way my back is hurting right now, after my back exercise yesterday, my biceps, I did legs today. Like, you can really get a thorough Especially workout. Especially legs. Because mm -hmm. you legs, get, you don't really need any you don't weights. weights yeah, you can get a arms thorough, a little harder. You can get a thorough workout at home. So, I would say definitely it's a great time to, you know, if you're sitting at home, you're eating a lot. If you don't exercise, we have a lot of other consequences. You're going to be gaining a lot of weight, eating all your snacks. Like, I'm uh, I'm a snacker. I'm a big foodie. So, I definitely need to make sure I'm exercising so I can balance things out. And I would say the last one. So, I would say not five, a, a six. I would definitely say it's a good time for self-reflection. And I think another thing in addition to reading and take, when you take time is journaling. Like, I feel like that's a good way. For, at least for me, I realized I used to do that a lot when I was really stressed or really anxious. and really helped me put out my thoughts to paper because some things you just don't want to talk about people with, talk to people about. Some things you just want to kind of keep it to yourself, but it's on your mind. It may stop you from, you know, sleeping or you may feel anxious. And I feel like journaling is definitely a good. So that's kind of an addition to number two. Yeah, kind of addition to number two. Like, when you're unplugging, think about journaling. There's a lot of things to do. Journal or read the Bible or read books, read newspaper. Just even trying mm -hmm. to do something that's gonna, you're not gonna think about what's going on. Something mm -hmm. that's not related. As I said, TV is like a hit or miss. It's a good time to binge on shows, mm -hmm. but not really want, you don't wanna watch news 24 7. Or regular like, stations that keep having breaking news. Yeah, so you, you might be watching Channel crazy. 7 and yeah. every second is breaking news. You don't wanna go, you're gonna go crazy. So this is a really good time to self reflect and just be intentional. But let us know how you think, feel about this video. Have you been experiencing cabin fever? Let us know down in the comment section if you have any suggest suggestions about what. You, someone can do to help avoid or to solve or, or deal, with. deal with their cabin fever and we'll see you in that next video. Bye-bye.